not true. Uh, can you make a lot of money in it? Yes, like the people on The Simpsons and shows like that. They make a lot of money. Anime voice actors, we don't make a lot of money. <laughs> uh, I'm not here, we're not like poor. I don't mean it like that. I mean, it's a, it's a good living, but um, we're not rich by any means. We're not like Hollywood or new stars rolling in the dough. We don't have like a, like a Scrooge McDuck thing full of coins that we go swim in. Uh, that would be so cool though. But if there were like chocolate coins, like you get at Easter. Yeah, you get metal in your teeth. Anyway, okay, so first, voice actors, anime voice actors, we're not rich. Um, other misconceptions? I don't know. What are, are there some that you have heard that, that you're kind of wondering about that you would like for me to debunk? not necessarily true, though I don't know anybody that it that doesn't become a fan of it, the genre because they start working in it. So some of us liked anime before and then became voice actors and cool, now I work in anime, sweet. Other people like really liked um, anime and had no interest in voice acting until anime and then became actors and became voice actors. But a, a lot of us were actors first who also happened to like cartoons and like anime or like the, the voice as an instrument and then became a voice actor. But it is becoming kind of, I don't want to call it a fad, it's not a fad, but there are a lot of up and coming voice actors out there who got their start um, in acting, period, ever, at all, because of anime. And they became actors, but they're good and they have talent. And the difference is they go and they take their talent and they learn how to use it. They go and they get educated and get an agent and do all that stuff. So I don't know. Does that kind of answer it? All right, sweet, cool, thank you. You had one over here. A role that like sticks out for me more than any other. Yeah. The top two are always Haruhi and Winry. Always. That's it. I mean, you can, they're pretty big, important characters um, that everybody loves, and I love them too. And what's pretty cool about Winry is that um, I got to play her for a really long time. Most of the time, especially nowadays, uh, most animes are only 12 or 13 episodes anymore. Um, so you're lucky if you get one that's 24 or 26, and even more lucky to get a, a 52 episode one. And then to get a, a 52 episode one plus a 63 episode, or whatever Brotherhood was, plus a couple movies and some OVAs and all of that. I'm not in every episode, not by any means, but I played Winry for eight years. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Um, that's not, so only people that, that are in the shows like, like One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, Inuyasha, uh, Bleach, Naruto, which that's like five shows, can say that they've played a particular character for that long over the course of hundreds of episodes or something. So I think that's what makes Winry cool, and among other things. And uh, what makes Haruhi awesome and has such staying power is there's just something about Oron that is really attractive to people that have never seen anime before. I'm learning from people that it's like their gateway show. Like you're an anime fan, you love Oron, and then you have some friend who's like, what's this stuff that you watch? And you go, Oron, and it's just because, I don't know, there's something about it that like, it's weird enough, but it's not like crazy weird, so they won't be like, ooh, this is dumb, I don't like your hobby, right? Like Oron's the show that you can just show people. So even though we, recorded it in 2008, I get people now, 2015, coming up to me saying, oh, Oran is my favorite anime, it's the only anime I've ever seen, I just watched it last week. I'm like, what? Um, okay, I think that's great. And especially because the manga came out in Japan, at this, 10 years ago. What? That's when it started coming out. And the anime came out in 2006 in Japan. OMG, who feels old? Shut up, get out. Come on. <laughs> Don't you have a curfew? No. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, it's 6.30. Well, it's 10.30 somewhere. Um, <laughs> anyway, so those are the two big ones. That was a cool question. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Oh, sure. She said, with voice acting, do we have outtakes or bloopers? The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, just like when you rehearse a play um, or perform in anything, you don't always get it right. And 
and with voice acting, we don't even get a rehearsal. There is no practice. You show up, and you get to see the scene you're in and the line you're about to do just like one time right before you do it. So chances are you're not going to get it right on the first try. Maybe you will, and a lot of the, the really professional folks and veterans who've been doing it a long time, they can do that. And the engineers can do wonderful things uh, because everything's recorded digitally. <laughs> but yes, bloopers are totally normal. And in fact, we had so many in Oron that we put them on the discs, about 15 minutes worth. Um, each disc, I think, but it's, it's a lot, there are a lot of bloopers. Some of them won't make sense unless you've seen the show. Um, <laughs> but so you can find them. Uh, they're not always on DVDs as extra features because they actually take a long time to, um, it doesn't take a long time to mess up, but to gather them all and to put them to video and et cetera is pretty time consuming. So it's not a common uh, special feature on Blu-rays and, and DVDs anymore. So. Oh yeah, the Heidi costume. But not from the show, Heidi. I know you're not a student fan, but you're from that show. Everybody's clear, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> wow, that's so hard. My favorite voice actor that I've worked with Voice actors are my friends. These people are my friends. So it's like, pick, pick the friend you like the best. And you guys all are all going, well, I have a best friend. Well, that's not the same. Um, uh, seriously, guys, I really, this is my husband. What's he texting about? I don't know, blah, 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 okay. Um, <laughs>
So, uh, what's that? And something about Crunchyroll, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so, that is really awesome. Like, uh, Funimation did it their first phase, they only had two shows. Now it's like eight shows, and they, they upload on, I think, Wednesday and Saturday and Sunday or something like that. It's so cool, you guys. So the, to answer your question, the reason I bring that up is these shows are still airing in Japan. So we don't really know what they're about. Like, we kind of know a synopsis a little bit, you know, like how you would present the show to somebody. Oh, this show is about um, a witch, and it's set during, like, the Hundred Years' War in, between France and England, and whatever. And you're like, oh, okay. Or this one is about this girl and that guy, and they're in school. Okay, like that's all that you sort of know when you go into it. Um, it's really exciting. So I'm directing some of those. Uh, one's called Absolute Duo. Uh, the guys will like it. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, the show I just mentioned is called Maria the Virgin Witch. And it's so, so freaking cool. I love that one. Episode 2 will be on this coming Sunday. I directed Episode 2. And I also play the Archangel Michael. He's rad. Uh, like, it's so neat. It's really cool. Um, but otherwise, we don't really know what's happening. If it's been completed, we could look it up online. Maybe we could even watch it. Uh, just depends on the show. There's a very long answer to your question. Good job. Back over here. Who hasn't asked one? You and that. Um, during the course of directing, I watched the show a lot. So we record it, and then I have to watch what gets done at the booth, and then it goes to a different engineer who mixes the sound and makes it cool and come out of different speakers and stuff, and I have to watch it again. <laughs> and then at conventions, I'll usually see it again. Like We'll have panels maybe where we watch an episode and talk about it. But um, there isn't a lot of time anymore to just watch anime for fun, because now I'm watching anime for my job. Like in my free time, I'm uh, watching the next episode of whatever it is that I have to work on or something else that I'm writing. So not as much time to watch it for fun, but I make it for fun instead. So how's that? <laughs> uh, over here, yes, in the black. 